Hey, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. Now that we've gone over the sign-up process for Jim Dude, we should get started in building your website. So I'm just going to give you um, a general feel of how to get the pages set up. And there are a few things here that you should pay attention to because they're not as obvious, especially if you haven't used Jimdo before. Setting up pages is actually quite easy with Jimdo. They really do a pretty good job with this. Hover your mouse over the navigation bar and click Edit Navigation. Now, the template here is a default one that Jimdo gave us, but I'm going to get into how to select a different theme in another tutorial later. So click Edit Navigation, and you're going to see a menu right here. And you can see that these pages here correspond to the menu bar horizontally right here. So if you want to add a new page, just click Add a Page. I'm going to say Page 5, just for demonstration. And I'm going to click Save. To move these pages around, if I want to reorder them, just click the arrows and they're going to be moved automatically. So you can see page 4 is now above page 3. To see it, just click save again. If you want these pages to become sub-pages, you just click the right arrow. So page 3 now is a sub-page of page 5. And if I want page 5 to become a sub-sub-page of page 3, just click the arrow twice. To delete any pages, click the garbage can right here. And it's asks you if you want to confirm the deletion, click yes. Or if you want to hide a page because you're working on it, just click on the eyeball here. One thing that's quite unique about Jimdo is if you have a subpage, which in this case is page 3 as a subpage of page 4, the subpage actually appears on the sidebar right over here. You can see page 3 here as a subpage of page 4. So if I go ahead and add a few more subpages, for example, I go subpage 2, I'm going to add another one again, subpage 2.1, for example. I'm going to move subpage 2 to under page 2, and I'll do the same thing for this. If I click save, and if I get out, if I click page 2, you're going to see the two subpages on the right hand side on the sidebar. So this is just something that's a little bit unique about Jimdo that I want you to be aware of. Unfortunately, there is, um, aside from customizing the template, there is no way to create a drop-down menu bar under Jimdo's uh, free templates right now. But as I said, if you really want to do it, you can always customize it if you know codes or you can hire someone to help you on that front. Another option is to purchase pre-made templates from some providers out there. If you just go to your search engine and look up Jimdo templates, you'll find some premium uh, pre-made templates that's really going to uh, transform your website design. That is if you don't find existing Jimdo templates um, uh, good enough for you. So that's just another option. Another two really important things to know when you're editing your Jimdo website is Whatever changes you make when you are in editing mode, it will instantly be reflected uh, after you click save um, in the live website. So just keep that in mind before you click save as those changes will be reflected. And if you're making changes and you want to see what the website looks like, down here you can click on the view mode and immediately you're going to see what the website actually looks like in real life and just go back to edit mode by clicking edit here again and you can continue to make changes to your website. 